What's up, what's up, all my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Katie. If you are new here, thank you for subscribing and joining my channel. And if you are not new here, thank you for sticking with me, you guys, because it's been a journey. <laughs> Sorry about my voice. It's cracking a little more today than it has been, but it's, it's improving for sure. It's just cracking more. So if I skip words or whatever, y'all just ignore it because I can't control it. I want to clear something up. If you guys watched my video from last night, <clears throat> I kept calling the Speedy 25 that I got from the new collection Fall For You. I kept calling it the Fall In Love Collection. I have a bag from the Fall In Love Collection, and I don't know, I, just get, I guess I got it mixed up, but it's actually called... That's what collection the Speedy 25 came out of, okay? So, it's crazy me. I didn't, you, you guys, I didn't even realize that I was calling it that until I watched my video. Because even when I edited and put my title in, I put it in a rot. So, I don't know what I was thinking, but it was a bad night. Y'all, I stayed up and edited until 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah. I slept a lot today, so, I don't know. But that's okay. It was worth it. I'm, a, I'm an OCD person, so once I video something, like, I need to edit it. Like, it it would drive me crazy knowing it's sitting there needing to be edited. So, that's why I did. And then, of course, it took a minute to download. And so, anyways, update on my YouTube slash guest bedroom. It is coming along. It is The paint is finished. My desk is built. My shelves, my new shelves that I'm going to bring a lot of these bags out of and put in there will be here on Monday and some of my decor will be here tomorrow and throughout the week of next week. I've already got some things in so anyways after next week I should be ready to go in that new room. I think it's going to be a really cute room that I'm super excited to have more room so I can do more videos because I will tell you guys the people that have been following me since November Y'all probably have noticed I have not done as many videos as I did when I first started. And it's because it's such a hassle in here. So, I will definitely be back to doing more videos when I get into my room. Literally, right around my corner, okay? Like, I, you step out my bedroom door, take a turn to the left, and that is the extra bedroom. Everything will be set up, and all I'll have to do is just go in and video. So, I cannot wait for that. My dogs are in here. If they start barking... Okay, there went one. He's not in here. He's actually outside. That's my son's dog. If the little girls start barking and going crazy, I will put them out. I apologize in my past videos if they barked a lot and I didn't do anything about it. But I guess I'm used to it, so I tune it out. I remember on one of the videos, I was like, golly, you know, like, they're barking a lot. But most of the time, I literally tune them out because I'm used to it. So, anyways, if that happens, I will send them out. And But right now, I've got two sleeping. And the other one, I believe, is in my, our formal living room. For whatever reason, Lululemon loves to lay around in the formal living room. I don't understand it. But that's her go-to, which is right out my door, too. But anyways, um, yeah, so if y'all can see weird lights behind me, it's my ring light. I, just, I need to clear some things up for my sanity because... This stuff's driving me crazy, okay? Have y'all ever heard that song, Swinging from the Chandelier by Roger Crager? Okay, well, that reminds me of what my little O ring light's doing behind my camera. It's literally swinging from the tripod. Yep, it's going like this. I, I've got to get on Amazon tonight and order me another um, ring light because, yeah, it's, it's not swinging from the chandelier, but it's swinging from the tripod. And it's been falling. So, anyways, let's get on with my video. Y'all don't hate on me, okay? Um, I'm doing another unboxing. But this one is from Gucci. And one piece is from Rebag. And another one is from the Gucci store. Okay? Always loved Gucci. I, do. I have a Gucci watch. I got Gucci shades. I've got Gucci, I don't know, several different things about Gucci. But, anyways... Yeah, I know. Two boxings in two days is probably kind of crazy. I do have other videos coming up. Some tags. I'm just still working on those tags. So, I love doing tags. 
If anybody is doing a tag, tag me for sure because I love doing tags. I love doing collabs. Those are fun too. I'm about to be doing a lot of videos again in my room after next week. So y'all tag me. Let's do collabs. Whatever. Like I love doing those things. It's so much fun. All right. Again, let's get started. Okay. The first thing I'm going to unbox is that. <laughs> is from Rebag. And this is something that they have online but then you click on it and they say you have to check in store okay that's what it says online check in store or something like that well guess what our Gucci store is always out of it okay and when I say our I mean good old Dallas Texas that's three hours from me so the times that I've been they have not had this in stock everybody I know has liked this thing by the way, I've got, uh, along with those things that I got coming in from Amazon from my YouTube room slash uh, guest bedroom, it's the box cutter coming that I lost through the movie the last time. I ordered me some off of there because cutting with these scissors is a, really it is a pain. It really is. You wouldn't think it would be because the box cutter was plastic and it just <laughs> sliced right on through those boxes. Well, the scissors not so much. You know. So this is an item. I think that's a very popular item. I've seen a lot of YouTubers showing it and liking it. And I have a feeling I'm going to also because I like organization. All right, so here it is wrapped up in the box. All right. I literally just unboxed this upside down. Oh, well. It's okay. It's okay. So... Here is my certified by Rebag card. Okay. Let me take it out of plastic. I've never bought from Rebag before. This is the first time. So I didn't know what to expect on how they do their packaging or whatever. So y'all bear with me. So anyways, it's the Ofita Gucci key pouch. This is a canvas little pouch it's got the double g's on as you can see and it's got the gold hardware and open it up on the inside it has a little hook so you can hook it to your keys if you want obviously it's got a key pouch or you can use it as like a key clay and put down in your purse bag what you know whatever and you know put things in it that you don't want to spill out into your bag that's what i like to use mine for mostly and actually, I have two key fobs. They wouldn't fit in the six ring key holder. I tried it, and they were too wide for even the six rings. So I just keep them in one of my mini pochettes. But I'm, I have a feeling that it will fit in this. So let's do a 360 with it real quick before I forget. This little tiny thing is so cute. And these are hard to find. So it was listed as new condition on Rebag. Super excited to have it because it's so adorable. Like this is really an adorable little thing. And I know you y'all all know I really am not into wallets, but I really like like the small SLGs, like the key clay, mini pochettes, and things like that. Um, this is going to be a useful piece for me, I believe, because I'm going to use it in my Gucci bags for one. Actually, when I show you guys what fits into the Gucci bag, I'll put my key fobs in here and see if they fit okay so that is my gucci ofita key pouch i'll tell you guys the measurements of it real quick lot so 5.5 inches in width three inches in height and one inch in depth so there is my gucci ofita key ring that i have wanted for a very long time so thanks to rebag i now have it all right so I'm going to set this to the side for now. Now let's open the Gucci bag. Alright. This is part of their new collection. Okay. So here is the dust bag. I think this is an extra one because I'm pretty positive the bag will come in as well. So I'll set that down right here. My receipt. Set that down right there as well. And then I'll show you guys the box inside of the box so there it is and all that beautiful green gucci and dior to me make the most beautiful boxes for sure like i love both of the designs on their boxes so here it is so you guys can see they always wrap it up and tie it so pretty 
So let's open it up like this. My favorite tissue paper. If y'all remember me freaking out on one of my videos when I was showing you guys the Gucci bags I bought, I was tripping out because I thought this looked like newspaper. <laughs> and it does. Like, I love it. It's so cute. I hate to rip it up. But I gotta get the sticker off. Okay. So, yeah. It, it did come in a different dust bag. So, here's the dust bag right here. And let's open this sweet little thing up. My dogs are being so good. All right. So, so here is this beautiful. This is the first time I'm seeing it, too. So, oh, wow. This is really pretty. Really, really pretty. So, like I said, I've seen it in the small shoulder bag, and I almost bought it. But then I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with a different style of bag instead of sticking with the same style. So I seen this and I thought, oh wow, that's so pretty. And it is. So I love the embossing on it. It's puffy. So I think that's so cute and it just really like stink, stands out. So there, let's do a 360. So there's the front, there's the back, and there's the side. It seems like the sides are made of different type of leather. I'll look and see in just a second. And then of course it's got the gold GG's on the front. This is a very stunning bag. Very elegant bag. Just nice in every way possible. To me this bag gives off the 90's vibes with the shape of it. I don't know it just really does. Like I totally 90's vibes. It has two snap closures and let me tell you what them things are strong. You're not going to steal anything out of this purse if you come up and walk up besides somebody and try to get in it. So I'm assuming you just open it up from the side. I wouldn't want to pull it apart from the front with my fingernails. So I guess I would just open it from the side, which is very easy. So let's take out the paper. And all the little Gucci booklets. Paper, more paper. And the extra strap. Okay. So inside of here is, looks like it has textile lining. I'll show you guys right there. It's got a compartment right here, a compartment right there, and then a leather pocket right there. So that's very, very pretty. I don't know what else is going to fit in it, but we're going to see here in just a minute, okay? Oh, there's something else in here. Okay. Oh, there's two straps. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot this one has the guitar strap, like, um... The Louis Vuitton has. So it comes with this guitar strap, is what I call it, and it's got the gold hardware on it as well. To me, this bag looks a little too elegant for this strap, but it might be comfortable. So we'll put it on and see in just one second. And let me open up the chain. To me, chains really set off any bag. They really do. Gold chains are the most beautiful thing that hangs down from, especially like a black bag, you know. Just really makes it pop. So pretty. Which I know this is one that you can wear as a strap for your bag. I don't think this is one that you would have two straps with. So it's either or at this point. So we're going to look at it with strap on. It's a little bit hard to get on here. Yeah, so I'm not going to lie. Well, you know what? If I was doing it right, yeah, I was, I was trying to push that in right there. All you gotta do is pull this little thing down. Okay. 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 No big thing. Just a minor little mishap. So here we go. It goes on actually very easily now. Alright, so let's move my table over. See what it looks like. I should have wore a black shirt. <laughs> Open it up a black bag. That's okay, though. It didn't get thought about when I had it on. It's been a comfy Saturday. I've just been in comfortable clothes all day long. All right, so here it is as a shoulder bag, which is very nice. I do like it like that. Like that. So let's see if it'll fit crossbody with a chain. It will, but it's a little too high, so... If, you, if there's any shorter paper out there, this would definitely fit you crossbody. So I might would have to wear the other strap to, if I wanted to wear it crossbody. 
or attach my own. But I do like it with this chain as a shoulder bag because the chain's very pretty and it hits at the perfect, perfect spot that I wear my bags at. This bag, you guys, is gorgeous. If y'all have not checked out this new collection, I don't even know that I should call it a collection because it just says what's new on their website, you know, so I don't know. But they've got a lot of new bags out that are really nice. They, they really do. I'm a Gucci fan. I really am. I just have an issue getting away from Louis Vuitton. Okay, now I'm going to put on this strap. doesn't say Gucci anywhere on it. Nope. Why they chose tan is beyond me. It's kind of like a gray and a tan. I don't know. I can't figure these people out. But I do like that it's removable on this bag. So I can add my own black strap if I want to. Which I probably will. <laughs> because not too much of a fan on this. So let's see what this bag looks like as a crossbody with this tan and gray gray strap that's what they call it right all right so there it is i can't really tell in the video because of the lighting so i can't see what it looks like so maybe i'll go look in my mirror here in a little bit see if i like it um again it's against this black shirt so that's another reason why i can't really tell but there it is as a crossbody now we'll say this is the perfect length right here if i was going to wear a crossbody i'd wear it at this length so I definitely like that. However, it is very, very comfortable on your shoulder. It's almost just so lightweight. Here it is as a um, shoulder bag. I can shorten it up for you guys right, right quick. All right, so if I were to wear it as a shoulder bag with a strap, I just shortened it up to the length that I would wear it at. Okay, so my thing is with these straps, you got a very elegant, beautiful bag. Can't deny that, okay? than this like it just I don't know it to me it just takes from the beauty of the bag you know like I'm not saying like some of the Louis Vuitton ones weren't cute they were but this is no I didn't care for the guitar strap on my black Cousin bag but at least it was black I'm not sure why we go with this color for this bag now there may be some of you out there that think it looks beautiful that loves it and that's great the one thing i will say about it that thing was major comfortable like major it did not even feel like it was on my shoulder so i wished i could get it in black because if it were in black i just think it would make more sense and i think it would look much better but i'm going to take it off while i do what fits in this bag just because it just gets in the way I'm showing you guys that and then let me show you all what bag I'm carrying right now where are you bag oh yeah I hung her back here all right so I'm carrying the favorite bag in the Dalmere a bean print and yeah I switched my stuff over to her today because she's a beauty I love the older favorite so much it's such a beautiful bag. All my stuff it really fits in it. Okay, I have a question for you guys. If you own the Ava clutch, is it Eva or Ava? Not real sure. One of the two. Okay, <laughs> one of the two. If you own that, I think it's the Eva. Okay, if you own it, please leave me in the comments below if you how much if you like it or not, and if it's like too close to this type of bag. This is the MM size, and I definitely like the size of it. I wouldn't want it any smaller. So I'd like to know if that Eva Ava clutch <laughs> is about the same size, and, and also if it looks too much like this, because I've been debating on buying that off a of fashion file, but I wanted to get other people's opinions and see how they think it compares to this. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard because this bag is not gonna stay open. So I'm going to set this in my lap and just start pulling things out. Matter of fact, I brought my Gucci shades to go down in there. Let me pull my car keys out of my mini pochette because I want to see if it fits in the Gucci key pouch. So I'm going to put my mini pochette in here. 
didn't even give you the dimensions on the bag. I'll give it to you guys in a minute. This is not going to be a bag that's very easy to get in and out of. I will tell you guys that right now. You're going to have to work hard to get out, get anything out of this bag. Okay, my mini pochette is in there. My next thing that is an essential is, which is where a card holder is going to come in handy, is my zippy coin purse. But I'm going to try it anyways. Yeah, I just slid right down in there just fine. And it does on most all bags, except for the loop bag. It's just it doesn't leave much room for anything else. So when I use a smaller wallet, or like a card holder or something, it just frees up room to put other things in there. So here is my fingernail clippers and tweezers and such that is going to go in there as well. And then right now, my vertigo medicine. Who This is so flat, I shouldn't even be showing you guys because this would go in anything at all, <laughs> your pocket. But I don't know if you guys have ever heard people that have inner ear problems, but when you get it, it hits you on and off and you don't know how long it's gonna last. So until I don't have ringing in my ears anymore, I keep my, it's meclizine is what the medicine's called. I keep my meclizine on me because you never know if I'm gonna be out and about and the dizziness kicks in. All right, so we got everything out of the favorite. My key clay, which I would probably use instead of the wallet. And let me show you guys with the wallet in here and my phone, and then we'll see what we need to take out to make it better, a better fit. And now I haven't changed my phone case over because I've been too daggum tired today to go do anything. Still closing. It's such a structured bag, it's not going to stretch. So, got the phone in. The keys would go in with, with what I have in here because... They go in with in the mini pochette, but I'm going to take that out here in a minute and sh and show you guys to see where is that. I don't think I'm going to get that to fit with it. No, okay. So we'll just lay my car keys down in here for now. All right, everything fits perfect. I'm gonna open it back up. Once you get your stuff in it, it opens a lot easier. Could I get my key clay in with this stuff? Yes, but. We're pushing it. I'll show you guys what it looks like with everything that I have in it right now. Okay, so there is all of that. Now, let's take out the car keys, the wallet. I'm gonna put my key clay in and pretend it's got my, my debit cards in it and stuff and use that for my wallet in just a minute. But I really want this to go in there. And I want to see if my key fobs will fit in here. All right, so let's put the little chain out because I don't care if that hangs in there, in there or out. And you guys, it does. Look, it fits perfect. Perfect. Look, and you guys, they do. They fit perfect. Look at that. So that is probably going to be my new um, key fob holder. That's so exciting. It's such a good little size. I literally have every videos written down that I've got to do. So I can definitely add this to the list. If you want me to compare the Gucci key pouch to the Louis Vuitton key clay, I'll do that, okay? So let's open this back up and put this down in there. Maybe too wide for this purse, actually. If I take out my phone, don't ever have to have that in there. It's just I, I like to. I like to. If I take out my phone. Yeah, this, yeah, okay, it'll fit. All right, so it's going to fit in there. I'm going to leave this in here because I always have fingernails chipping off. I still got my key clay. I just, I don't think I'm going to put my phone in there. And then this will act for my wallet, which is what I would carry, or my card holder if I carry this purse, okay? Or when I carry this purse. So there it is. Nothing is bulging out. I really don't think it could. Like it's it's a really structured bag on the sides, yet very puffy and soft on the front and back. That's what I love about it. So you just have to, if you know, with bags like this and like the Gucci sh small shoulder bags, you really just have to make do if you want to carry them with your daily essentials, unless you don't hardly carry anything. Now myself. I do like to have a spot for my phone to fit in case I do get tired of carrying it or need to just put it in there 
my phone is an important part of what fits in a bag because you know we always have our phones on us and having four kids I always want my phone on me and my husband too and that's why I go crazy over the bags that have the pockets on them because I can hear it ring and stuff and I can and so I feel safe sticking it in a back pocket or a front pocket because I can hear it so I, that's why I'm real like adamant about having bags with pockets on the outside of them all right so let me show you guys how it looks in here and then I'll show you what I have in there because it kind of got confusing okay so there we have everything fits in there nicely that I would need I will see what it looks like with my phone on the inside don't think I could take out my no I don't want to take out my mini pochette all right phone's not fitting it's not fitting with what I have in here right now which is the key clay that would replace my wallet my mini pochette that holds all my little necessities take out my mechlazine I, and and if anybody has in her ear I know mechlazine does not cure it but it does help the dizziness go away okay so there's my little pouch with my fingernail clippers and stuff in there and then this cute little keep out like we, we will find a place for you baby you're too cute not to go in something and then there's still this pocket back here so actually I could have stuck the key clay where is it which is thinner right now I could have stuck the key clay in it let me try no no it's not going in it it's not okay. okay so let me give you guys the dimensions on this okay so it's 10.2 inches in width 6.9 inches in height and 3.1 inches in depth okay so that is my my new Gucci bag she's absolutely stunning I think you could dress her up with the chain or a black leather strap or dress her down with this guitar strap you could dress her down like that and you probably could carry it as a clutch it's going to smush everything you got in there but you can you can carry it like that if you want or, and I guess you could always carry it like this I no, not me not me I am not walking in somewhere like this with with my bag because I'm gonna sit it down and probably forget it's what's gonna happen but anyway so that is my Gucci bag haul for today I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this bag, okay? And about my little precious key pouch. I don't know how anybody could have anything bad to say about that because it's cute. But, yeah, I would like to hear what you think about my new Gucci bag. If you like it, if you don't like it, and whatnot. So, anyways, I just want to thank you guys for all your support and helping me reach my goals Y'all are awesome. I love all your comments. And I am going to let you guys go, as I always do, with I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, or night. And for me, it is a great evening. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.